I got a call at the shop from a guy who has some antique Thunder mugs. You must be Tom. I'm Tom. How you doing? Essentially, really small signal cannons. So I'm meeting him out here at the gun range, and hopefully, we'll be able to light them off. So you got thunder mugs here. I call them Bolivian celebratory or holiday mortars. Celebratory, I think, is like where you can drink out of them. <laughs> I have a set of Bolivian celebratory or holiday mortars. I bought these Bolivian mortars when I was working and living in Bolivia about 25 years ago and bought them from street vendors. I've been a collector all my life, but they don't really fit my collection, and I'll be happy to sell them. I would like to get uh, $800 for these mortars. This is pretty cool. I mean, you don't see them that often. Mm. And they're about the condition you would expect for these things. Mm. The English Navy started using these in the 1500s. There's a million different names for them, but like basically the English started calling them thunder mugs because they sort of look like a mug. Good name. What they were originally used for was just a signal that they were coming into harbor. They didn't fire a projectile. They just put gunpowder in them, and they make a lot of noise like fireworks. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they were just basically used for everything from celebrations, signals on a battlefield, whatever you needed a big bang. This was it. Where did you get them? OK, Bolivia. I've been collecting all my life. Um, I collect whatever's around to collect wherever I am. And these were available on S3 vendors and that kind of thing. I bought every one I found down there. All right. I mean, they're pretty crude looking. They're crude castings. Usually made them out of uh, brass or bronze. These things appear to be brass. I'm not certain, but either brass or bronze, yeah. And it's really hard to date these, but especially from the patina on them, I imagine there's well over 100 years old. I mean, how much you want for them? I'm thinking $800 is a fair price. OK. You know what? Maybe we'll negotiate this price after they go back. We'll see how loud they are first. Mm, that works. I got black powder here, so <laughs> I'm good to go. I probably fired you more several years ago to shoot. They will work, and I'm sure that um, they'll fire just fine. I guess we just light them up on here? I think so. So that's the cannon fuse, right? Plain old cannon fuse. OK. I mean, if you put the same length fuse on each one of them, light them like that, walk away, we'll get bang, 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 bang. So we're ready to fire them? They're ready to light. OK, we're ready to go live. Got your ears on? OK. <laughs> that was really cool. They're, they're fun. <laughs> they are fun. Your poor man's cannon. Precisely. If you don't have $50,000 for a cannon, you can buy these. So, I mean, what's your best price on them? I'm still gonna say $800. Let's start there. You take 600 bucks for them? How about seven? You know what? You got a deal. Um, I absolutely love them. I think they're the coolest things I've ever bought. I have five cannons now. So you do. <laughs> All right, uh, if you load them up, just bring them back to the pawn shop, I'll pay you. Done deal. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. It's a fun day. <laughs> I just fired off a good deal on my mortars. Now it's time to celebrate. 